some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have Harvey Freebird in Fort Worth, Texas, doing some cop watching. But that's not the important part. The important part is his update on his court cases. So let's take a look and see what he has to say. This should be good. What, the dollar store called the law on him? Hey, can I get y'all's names and badge numbers? I'm trying to sip. Officer Bell, ID 3816. Thank you. I'm Officer Mack in 4605. Thank you. I'm trying to separate the good cops from the bad cops. I appreciate that, you guys. Y'all have a good night. So they were professional. I didn't have any problem. I've never seen those cops before, but I am. I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to identify every Fort Worth cop that I run across. Because I had bad encounters with cops before and then I don't know who they are. And it's like, damn it. I go back into my uh, videos and it's like, damn it, I ran into this asshole before and I didn't get him to identify. So from now on, no matter what, I'm asking him to identify so I can go back and check. So they had that guy handcuffed. I didn't realize he was handcuffed the whole time. Apparently there was an issue at the dollar store across the street and they had a suspect in handcuffs the whole time while they were investigating the issue, but they let him go. Yeah, I don't have any other information on the issue other than what I saw in the, earlier in the video. We got a hundred people in here. Well, they left. While I got everybody in here, let me update you guys on my court situation, man. It's some crazy shit happened today. So I had court for the for the very first misdemeanor interfering charge. This has been going on since January, okay? And I've already set it up for a jury trial, and that was supposed to start today, a jury trial. Well, we get in there, and they're, the, the prosecution is wanting a... Uh, the prosecution is wanting a continuance because they're saying, and this is crazy, they just got... A whole bunch of, uh, they issued a search warrant to Google for all of my Google information. Everything, like Google Maps, locations, any anything I've searched. They requested all that crap from Google for my felony charge, though. Not even for the misdemeanor charge that I went to court for today. Oh, now, that doesn't sound too good at all. Sounds like they're trying to close the loop in on you. So I called my felony lawyer and said, man, they're trying to continue this. Should I let them continue it? Or should I press for a... I see blue lights right down here. We might have another one. Oh, I definitely see blue lights. So I called my felony lawyer. I said, dude, should I press them and make them start it today or let them have the continuance? He's like, let them have it, man. The more time, the better. So that got continued again. But basically, they don't have any cases on me, man. They're, they're grasping for straws at this point. To me, that sounds like a bunch of conspiracy theorist garbage right there. I'm sure they're just trying to cover all their bases and make sure they can get charges to stick. As the old saying goes, crossing their T's and dotting their I's. They don't want to leave anything to chance. And, um, but just think about that, you guys. I haven't even committed a crime. And these guys are investigating me like they would a, a serious criminal. I mean, they served Google with a search warrant for all my analytics and all my information. Tell me that's not crazy. And I'll tell you what, man, I, you guys can call me paranoid, but if these guys are willing to spend this kind of resources and this kind of uh, energy to go after me for shit that I ain't even done. I haven't even committed a crime. Everything I've done is on video. Everybody knows I haven't committed a crime. I mean, just, it, it, that kind of scares me, man. If they're willing to do all that, they'd be willing to frame me for something. Bullshit! Bullshit! What we have here is a massive persecution complex. Oh, everybody's out to get me. Woe is me. I'm not the bad guy. They're the bad guys. And, and, and that reminds me, <clears throat> I got an email from Reddit months ago saying I was kicked off of Reddit. And I've never even been on Reddit. I've never had an account on Reddit. I've never been on Reddit. Why the hell am I getting an email saying I got kicked off from Reddit? So see, stuff like that scares me, man. 
Anyway, I saw blue lights, now they're gone. The blue lights are gone, you guys. So we're on, um... Damn it, man, if Tag wouldn't ask me the name of this road, I, I know this road. I'm on it all the time. Since Tag asked me where I'm at, now I can't think of it. <clears throat> Cause I saw blue lights down here, now they're going. Let's go look at the road. This is um East uh, East Berry Street. I'm on East Berry Street, you guys. It's kind of a rough, rough end of town. Anyways, how many people we got in here? Still got 96 people in here. That's awesome. Well, the police are gone, you guys. I was running an errand and I seen them. I had to stop. So I'm gonna get back to my errand, you guys. I'm gonna stop this live stream because. You better believe there's cops watching and I don't want them following me around on my own live stream. So I'm going to end it right now, you guys. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Well, he definitely talks like he's paranoid as if cops are actually following him around everywhere he goes. Yeah, sure, buddy. I see them over there. Huh. But anyway, sounds like things are about to get very interesting for Harvey Freebird. We gotta stick to this story and see what happens.